Hey guys, it's me, Drew. Welcome back to my channel. As you see from the title above, this is going to be my weekly Wix and Wax video. I keep laughing because this is not a week's worth of empties. This is like a month of empties. Again, I just don't get to film as often as I would like to. Uh, life just gets in the way, but I have some time to sit down and film some videos. I have a lot to get through. There's a mix of fall. There's some end of summer goodies here. I have some Scentsy videos. I have some candle hauls. There's a lot of videos that I have to film and I'm hoping to sit down today and get those rolling out to you guys. So without further ado, let's get into my empty, shall we? All right, let's start with candles. The first candle that I finished was a Marshmallow Fireside Single Wick. This is from a couple years ago. I burned this in my bathroom. I had no issues. I felt like the only thing with this one, I love the Marshmallow Fireside scent. That smoldering woods, that little bit of that sweet, toasty marshmallow. It's such a classic. But I feel like sometimes I burned this, I could smell it. And sometimes I couldn't. It's almost like the oils were like mixed in here that weren't like an even ratio if that makes any sense but it was a very nice candle i always love marshmallow fireside and these single wicks are the perfect size for my bathroom so really love that i finished a bergamot and birch candle from bath and body works this really impressed me vibrant bergamot black amber and birch wood i burned the candle and i had the hand soap too I really like the way this scent smells. It definitely leans that like masculine cologne, but that bergamot makes it super bright, zesty, fresh from the citrus. And that white birch wood makes it a really good like transitional summer to fall fragrance. So I was enjoying this in my bedroom. I really, really like this. I would repurchase it. And it's funny, this collection is like hanging around at full price. It's not going to a, sem it didn't go to some annual sale. I don't know what the story is exactly on that collection, but it looks like it's sticking around, which I'm happy about. Next, I finished a cinnamon spiced vanilla. This was also in that White Barn collection. Fresh ground cinnamon, sugar crystals, and Tahitian vanilla bean. Burned that all the way down. And this is nice. I just feel like for a bakery scent, it's not really strong. And I wish it would be a little bit stronger. If you're familiar with the Cinnamon Sugar Donut from Bath & Body Works, it's the same fragrance, just repackaged. Um, big disappointment this year was the Summer Boardwalk collections. Now, is it me or Summer Boardwalk and Berry Waffle Co. have like the shortest life in the stores than any collection like this comes out like two weeks before semi-annual sale then it's on sale then it's gone like i feel like they just don't get the love that they deserve however this round were pretty pretty crappy like they did not burn well and they were not really strong which makes me so sad oh because it is a strong scent Caramel glazed popcorn, warm taffy apples, and salty sweet cream. I love this scent. I actually think I'm going to pop one in the freezer, take this wax out, put it in here, and put this in a candle crock for a few days just to really get the life, last life out of this candle. It's been a while. Um, I just love it. I love how fresh. I love how sweet and sticky the apples are. I love how rich and creamy the caramel is. It's just such a good summertime bakery, end of summer fragrance. So really enjoy that. And I finished two different iterations of the beloved pumpkin pecan waffles. Now this is from a couple years ago and oh, a travesty burning this. I mean, the wicks got so small, the flames got so small. And again, this scent, whenever it hits about here, just trash like it just smells like burnt waffles and like you know whenever caramel if you make homemade caramel and you're stirring it on the pot you have a very small time frame before it burns it's like 
this went to that step and it burned. Whenever you burn the candle, like I'm not really sure why. Maple syrup, golden waffles, pumpkin spice, and brown sugar. I love the scent. It just does not perform for me. And same with this one. And I really like the label. I think this was last year's White Barn Collection Pumpkin Pecan Waffles. It's super pretty. It just also, and it was like not very strong. But then if I did it in a small room, it had that really nasty scent. So I'm not really sure. I don't understand. Anyway, that was the Bath and Body Works candles. Moving on to Kringle. I finished the Sugared Diamonds 3-Wick. I love this design with the diamonds, super pretty. Strawberry, red berry, baked pastry, banana, oats, cinnamon, clove, vanilla, and cooked sugar. Burn down all the way, no problem. Great throw from top to bottom. And I really like this. This reminds me of like a spiced banana muffin. It's a really pleasant scent. I burned this in my kitchen the entire time. And every time I walked by the kitchen or went into the kitchen, you just got that really light, banana bakery scent lingering in the air and it was so pretty. Next I finished an avocado and palm from Kringle. This they don't have the descriptions on these guys but again no problem burning all the way down. This was a very nice like I avocado is such an interesting scent to me because avocados naturally are just super super creamy and this candle is that creaminess that richness there's like this body care, fruity, floral essence to this that's really pleasant. It was a really nice performer. I burned it in my bedroom the entire time. Really enjoyed it. Just made it smell really fresh and clean without being a laundry scent. So really enjoyed that. Then I finished a Juicy Strawberry from the Reserve line. Really, really enjoyed this. Also, as you can see, burned down all the way. This... Reminds me a lot of Coastal Strawberry from Sensi. It's that very green strawberry. So emphasis on the vine, the stem, the like dirtiness from the strawberry, which almost makes it smell a little bit more realistic because most strawberry fragrances are super artificial. This one is not. So really, really pleasant. Really enjoyed that one. And then the last candle that I finished was Blue Orchid from Kringle. And I really liked this. I burned this in my office. And every time I walked in here, it was just energizing. Um, I don't hear a lot of people talk about this, but to me, it reminds me of like a zest bar soap. Like that citrus men's bar soap fragrance, which I don't hate. It definitely is like invigorating and fresh and clean. And when I was burning it in here, I was doing some work, doing some school on the computer. It just made you feel like, energized and ready to go for the day. So I was really happy with this. Burned obviously because it's a Kringle all the way down completely. No issues. So really love this. Love the label on this too. Love the blue orchid with those like pinky purple veins. Really fun, really awesome candle. So excited for that. And I have almost fully transitioned into fall candles. So hopefully this next empties that I film will be full of fall candles. Now, let's move on to the wax. I have completely depleted my Wonder Wax collection, except for some candles by Victoria and some fantasy wax, which I've been melting here and there sparingly. But for the most part, it's Scentsy, and this basket is entirely Scentsy. So I'm gonna organize it by how I did it or um, if I have multiple clams. And then we'll be right back. Non-wax Scentsy that I have are some pods. So I took out Raspberry Lollipop pods from my laundry room and replaced them with Blue Grotto pods. I use the pods in a wall fan diffuser in my laundry room. The cat litter box is there. It's just kind of nice to walk in and have that fresh scent without any worry of like a wax mess. So enjoy that. Now let's get into the doubled bars that I did. So these are ones that I melted in my living room, dining room, and kitchen. It takes two full bars to go through there. The first one I have is Palm Trees and Ocean Breeze. Now these guys are newer from this year. This used to blow me out of the house for days and this did not. And I've seen a couple other people on YouTube mention this too. So I don't know if they've changed the formula 
or if the bars that I had before just sat for a long time because right now I love the scent. The scent smells exactly the same. It is like this very green, watery, aquatic scent that is a very fresh scent, but it did not last nearly as long as it did before. So I don't know. I have some more bars because I stocked up on it this year because I love it. And maybe I'll just let it sit and hopefully it performs. This, uh, beach. I'm on the train. I don't like beach. Mm -mm. It has that weird, it's like what, papaya and coconut or something like that. It's a very odd astringent scent. Super strong, of course, because I don't care for the scent, but it was in the Bring Back My Bar kit. I won't ever repurchase that, and hopefully it doesn't come back for Bring Back My Bar for a while. I love that the Bring Back My Bar this year is different in January. It's like scents that haven't been around for years and years, so a lot of new scents to me. Really exciting. Next, Cashmere Pear. I have two of these. This is very nice. There's like red ginger, pear and cashmere. It's a very different scent. To me, like, I wash all the blankets. I put the throw pillows. Like, I cleaned the couch, washed the the curtains, like, did the rug. Like, really just deep clean the living room. And then I popped this fresh wax in. It just smelled really great, really sophisticated. Almost like a very warm, fresh scent with that red ginger. It's not in my club or anything, but I did really enjoy the cashmere pair. Next, it was like so hot this day. I was like, oh my God, I just don't know what to melt. So I did watermelon patch in both warmers, finished watermelon patch. I really like this. It's definitely a very Jolly Rancher watermelon and it didn't last as long as I would have liked it to. But for that really hot, like almost 100 degree weather day, it was nice to put something in there that was like candied and fun and watermelon and fresh. So I finished these two bars of watermelon patch. I did, is this the August scent of the month? Pink leather. I believe it's the August scent of the month. Pink leather. Um, it's okay. I like leather scents. I really enjoy leather scents actually. And I was really excited to see this, but to me, it's definitely more of a strawberry forward fragrance than leather. It's like pink leather, strawberry, and warm vanilla. And it's definitely more of like a strawberries and cream than leather. There is leather in it. It's just way in the background where I would have wanted the leather to be like first and foremost. And it is not. But either way, I do enjoy it. I don't know if I'll club it. It's a good performer in a small space. I did it my open concept, but um, I feel like it would be better in a smaller space. I did pink coconut. Mm. This just doesn't perform for me. It, it, it is definitely different. Like, I will give Sensi props for this. It is definitely a different scent. I forget what note is in here that makes it different, but I've never smelled a scent like it. It leans body care coconut the way that it's blended. Like, I would enjoy, like, a body care, a shower gel or a lotion in this, but I did really enjoy it. I just wish it was stronger and performed better. And no coconut fragrance will ever go in my club. I don't love coconut. Next, Tangerine Creamsicle. I finished two bars of this. I love Tangerine Creamsicle. It smells just like, like an orange creamsicle. You get that like creamy base of a popsicle and that citrus, that zest, that like ice cold popsicle fragrance. Always enjoy. This, I'm debating about putting in my club because I do really enjoy it. And I hope it doesn't, I hope it comes back next year. So I might add one to my club just in case for insurance purposes. And then the first like hit of fall, I did warm pumpkin drizzle. This was a scent of the month last year. I had two bars in my open. This is nice. It's not my favorite pumpkin scent though. And I do like getting the scent and warmer of the month kits. I always get the scent of the month kit, I don't always get the scent and warmer. Spoiler, I did for September because it's wicked cute, let me tell you. I love it. Anyway, um, and the scent, yes. Uh, it was definitely, I wish this had more like a cakey note to it. I feel like that's what's lacking in this. It's what's lacking in a lot of Scentsy Bakery, don't get me wrong. But 
I don't love bakery like I used to. I'm definitely leaning more into the fresh, into the woodsy fragrances, the more conceptual fragrances than I am bakery. Bakery just seem a little juvenile. Like for all the time, I want something a little bit more sophisticated. And this is just like uber sweet, like the middle of like a pumpkin cake where I would have wanted a little bit more richness. So I might blend this with like something woodsy, like a pal. I personally think this with the new Palo Santo and cinnamon, which I will be getting my first sniffs video out soon. I wanted it to be closer to the catalog and have time. And the catalog launches September 1st, so very, very soon. So I will get that up soon. But yeah, I really enjoyed this. I just wish it was a little less cloyingly sweet. I did a sweet plum pastry. I know, cloyingly sweet, but this is just so good. Warm, sweet plum. Mmm, like a plum jam. A little bit of coconut, but not beachy coconut. More like that creamy coconut. Really, obviously, I love sweet plum pastry. I did, now these are on this, oh, that was a single. These are the singles now. I did Camu Camu, and this is one that's always in the catalog. To me, and I've said this before, fruity fragrances, it's really hard to distinguish between them. They're all just like fruity, you know what I mean? Like, I want something that's a little bit more sophisticated and different. And this is, it's just like a, it's almost like a sharp fruity. Next, I have a peeling apple. I like this. This I actually have going in right now. I love this glisten warmer. It's so pretty, especially when you put like wax in there. The, um, whatever the color is, I think it looks, it just looks really pretty. Um, and then the glimmer and glow. I, I love my Scentsy warmers, but yeah, this is nice. It's like an apple and pear fragrance. So really pleasant. Shoreline Drive. I just did this in the bedroom this week. The salty sea air note in this leans a little sick, sickly, like it's almost too salty, if that makes any sense. But in the bedroom, like going in and out with a little bit of the windows cracked open, it was pleasant. Sunburst Bamboo. I like this. It wasn't super, super strong. And it was very green, like a very green and fresh scent. I I like Bath & Body Works Fresh Bamboo better. I'd love to see Scentsy do like that kind of scent. I did a Southern Sweet Tea in the bedroom. This is a flop. It smells like peach tea. I was expecting it to be more like an, Ar an, Ar an Arnold Palmer, even though it's obviously not lemonade, but more of that like iced tea fragrance. I did Sparkling Yellow. Now this is nice. This is like a, like an iced lemon drink, like a limoncello. I feel like if you like limoncello or sugar lemon zest from Bath & Body Works, you would really like this. It has that same sharp, fresh lemon without leaning pledge. So really enjoy that. Speaking of lemon, I am actually doing this combo in my living room right now. Lemon sorbet and sweet strawberry. One cube to one cube as like a strawberry lemonade. It's still going to be hot this week. So some days I do fall, but then I'm like, I still need to use up a lot of my summer wax. So I'm not sitting on it for too long. So popped this combo into my living room and enjoying that on my day off today. Next, I have Ruby Nectarine. She was juicy, even though I just got her this year, and she is strong. This is a strong, strong fragrance. If you like sweet grapefruit, nectarine, citrus fragrances, definitely check this out. It blew my socks off. Next is Poppy Fields. I really like this. I got this in a warehouse sale. I really liked this. This is like a niche perfume, like something Jo Malone would make is what it reminds me of because it wasn't super strong. I did it in this office, but every time I walked in here, I was super pleasantly surprised by the poppy fields. So if I see more of this in a clearance section that's not a bundle, I would pick up more. Really enjoyed it. And because all the hype this year about it, pink rhubarb sugar, I decided, all right, let me try some pink rhubarb sugar. This is my first time ever melting it. Really like it. I did, I have three warmers in my bedroom. So I did two, two, and two. And then I just put in a mini warmer in my bathroom today. I did these like last week. I did this this morning. Really nice in my bathroom. Oh, it's that sharpness from the rhubarb, that like zinginess. And then that sweet pink sugar. 
really enjoy that. Really like that. I did Autumn Blaze Maple. I did that one here in the office the day that I was feeling fall throughout the house. And this is really nice. It's a very spiced, woo. Actually, as I'm saying it, I'm like inhaling that cinnamon stick spice. It does give you like craft store cinnamon spice with that maple and the pumpkin and the apple. It is really pleasant. I do quite enjoy that. I did sun soaked petals. This is nice too. I, oh wow, that's weird. It literally smells like nothing in the clam. I've never had a clam shell smell like nothing. That's weird. I know I enjoyed it. Yeah, that that's really weird. Anyway, um, this I also got in a warehouse sale, Citrus Rosemary. I like this. Randomly, I put it in the office. I don't know why I didn't do it in the kitchen. It would make most sense. I didn't, but I liked this. I loved the zing of the rosemary with that fresh citrus. It was, again, one of those, like, invigorating fragrances. It woke you up without being, like, a fizzy pop or a super hard lemon. It was that rosemary that really woke you up, that herbal note. So, really enjoyed citrus rosemary. I did Soak and Raise. I like this one. I really do. It's a very white floral. Ah, so good. So good. Yeah, it's that, like, white gardenia floral, but blended with some, like, coconut notes. Really pretty. Oh, and then last but not least, I did two cubes of, or two cubes, two bars of aloe water and cucumber. I love. Yes. Ah. I don't know. Like, I know that there are so many different scents with Scentsy. This is my favorite. Every time I melt it, I'm happy. It lasts forever. I love it. Where's the Scentsy brick in aloe water and cucumber? I'd love to know. I literally have half of a drawer full of aloe water and cucumber. I'll never be away from it. It's my favorite. We'll melt it all year. Even in the dead of winter, I will melt aloe water and cucumber because I just love it so much. And it's so fresh. And I did this in under 30 minutes. I'm super happy and proud of myself for that. But thank you guys so much for watching. I know it's been a while, but like I said, life just gets in the way sometimes. And I hope you guys are doing well. Don't forget to subscribe and hit that notification bell. That way, whenever I do upload, you will be alerted. Make it a better world and be kind. I love you guys so much. Bye.